tonight on GDS Rockford's newest steakhouse, and we'll tell you all about Project Roadblock. Oh, it's a good day, stay long. Hello and welcome to Good Day Stateline. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. It is Thursday, December 30th, the second to last day of 2021. I feel weird about it. I'm not sure when to undecorate my house for Christmas. Maybe this weekend. We're always ready uh, to chat with you on the Good Day Stateline Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter. Stop by anytime and let us know how you're feeling about 2022. Roll it in. We have a great show for you tonight. Matt, the owner of Rockford's newest steakhouse, Prime, is stopping by, and it's Bygone Brand Throwback Thursday, too. Check it out. Your favorite photos from this past year in just a few minutes. But before we get to that, it's time for Insta Chat. Every night, we're breaking down the latest trending Hollywood stories here and inside our Instagram story, starting with Jennifer Garner trending online after almost lighting her kitchen on fire cooking this Christmas. She was cooking Ina Garten's beef bourguignon. It's tough to say. It's really tough to spell too. Uh, but apparently it's tough to cook because what went wrong? The measuring. We know how hard it is uh, to measure here on GDS. We do it wrong all the time. Jennifer accidentally doubled the amount of brandy the recipe called for and lit it all on fire. The brandy burst into flames, which she captured on video for us all to see, including Ina Garden, who responded saying, I almost set the kitchen on fire every time too. Happy New Year. Love you. And our favorite Twitter user, Dion Warwick, is back. This time she's got some beef with Oreo. So Dion asked Oreo to stick to the original flavor one day on Twitter. Not sure what prompted her to reach out, but I think she has a point. The original Oreos are the best. But Oreo responded by sending her their new Java chip flavor and some Oreo lip balm. She snapped a picture, posted it on Twitter, and said, quote, after asking Oreo to stick to the original flavor, they sent me these outrageous items as a response. We'll see if they have a response to her. Dion Warwick is not absolutely the 2021 Twitter winner. If you're not following her, make sure you are. And if you ever wanted to work out with a boy band superstar, you can, kind of. At least you can do the same workout as Justin Timberlake does. Justin and his wife, Jessica Beal, each shared the same workout video to their Instagram pages this week, focusing on getting their abs ready for 2022 with some planks, some side planks, some hip dips, shoulder taps, which look a lot easier than they are. They captioned the video saying, Swole mates, see you in 2022. You can see that workout right now inside our Instagram story, along with another celeb that actually got the same tattoo we told you Selena Gomez got yesterday. Check it out at Good Day Stateline on Instagram. We'll be right back with Tim Mahoney and details about Project Roadblock.